We now want to take a look at the whole idea behind converting from one set of units to another. This could be from English customary or U.S. customary units to standard international metric units. It could be within English units or within metric units. Uh, but the whole idea is how do we convert from one set of units to another. And the answer is, is we multiply by one. Now, one can be written in a number of different formats. For example, I could write the number one simply as one, but I can also write it as five over five. I could also write it as negative 17 over negative 17. I could write it as a over a. The idea is that in all of these cases, the numerator and the denominator are the same. So if I were to say that one was q over r, then we would be required to have q equal to r. So q over r is equal to 1 if and only if q is equal to r. The numerator is equal to the denominator. But that's what we're going to do in the case of unit conversions. So let's take an example. We know that if I have a table 36 inches across, if I want to convert that to feet, we know that that's three feet. Now you might want to say that this was simply a matter of 36 divided by 12, because that's what you did in your head. You simply divided 36 by 12 to get three feet, because you know there's 12 inches in one foot. But when you consider that mathematically the term divide means to separate. So if I was going to divide my table by, by 12, that means I would be taking a saw, if you will, and cutting it into 12 separate pieces. Each of those pieces would not be 3 feet in width. Each of those pieces would be 3 inches in width. That is to say, 36 inches divided by 12 is equal to 3 inches. That's not a unit conversion. What I am, in fact, doing is I'm taking 36 inches and I'm multiplying by 1, where in this case I have 1 foot in the numerator and 12 inches in the denominator. And so what you're seeing here is the numerator, 1 foot, equals the denominator, 12 inches. Now numerically, this works out to be 36 times 1 all over 12. That's where the 3 comes from. But we're not done at that point. We also have units, and units are also going to be part of the arithmetic operation of multiplication here and division. So it's inches times feet all divided by inches. And what you're seeing here is that the value of inches cancel out. Inch over inch numerator over denominator cancels out. All I'm left with in the units portion is feet. And then over here in the numbers, 36 divided by 12 is 3 over 1. And so numerically, I do in fact end up with 3, but it's accompanied by the unit feet. And that's a critical difference. So it's not just dividing by 12. It's multiplying by one foot over 12 inches. All right, now, there are a few conversion factors that are exact. And that's important because you recall from the last lecture with significant digits. The number of significant digits in each of these unit conversions is infinite. 60 seconds equals one minute. That's infinite significant digits. 60 minutes equals one hour, etc. The one that maybe is most interesting is one inch and 2.54 centimeters. 20, 30 years ago, maybe more, 2.54 centimeters was approximately one inch. But as we have refined our ability to define how long is a meter and therefore a centimeter, which is one 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 hundredth of a meter, we have now defined one inch as being 2.54 centimeters. 
So it's no longer an approximation, it's now an exact value. Okay, the rest of these you've already seen. And of course, in the unitless world, excuse me, dimensionless world, 360 degrees is the same as 2 pi radians. So let's do a conversion then from 5 miles into kilometers. So we start off with 5 miles, and then I'm going to begin to multiply by 1. Now one of these conversions had better get rid of the miles. So I have miles in the numerator right here. So I'm going to have 1 mile in the denominator. Well, from the previous page, I know that's 5,280 feet. Okay, so 1 mile is 5,280 feet. So this is 1. That's exactly equal to 1. All right, but that's not kilometers yet. So let's convert from feet. 1 foot is 12 inches. All right, so we got that one taken care of. And then 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. And 100 centimeters is 1 meter. And 1,000 meters is 1 kilometer. And so now I have a kilometer finally in one of my conversions. Every one of these is 1. The numerator is exactly the same as the denominator. The numerator is exactly the same as the denominator. So now we see that the miles cancel, feet cancel, inches cancel, centimeters cancel, meters cancel, and the only unit left over is kilometers. So we're good there. Then numerically, I have 5, 5,280 over 1, 12 over 1, 2.54 over 1, 1 over 100, and 1 over 1,000. And so if I work out all of those multiplications in there, so I'm going to take 5 times 5,280 times 12, times 2.54, and then divide that by 100, and divide that by 1,000. And when I'm all said and done, I end up with 1.247244-09449. That's what my calculator is telling me. And of course, my units come down, and that's kilometers. So 5 miles equals one kilometer if I stick with one significant digit. And I've clearly made a mistake in here. So let's try that multiplication again. All right, so now I've got a different number altogether, 8.04672 kilometers. All right, remember the part of the problem solving process is looking at your value. So I'm going to leave my mistake in this recorded lecture. I want you to see that it's clear that 1.2 kilometers is not 5 miles. So I definitely have an error. My, my answer was not reasonable. 8 kilometers, on the other hand, is reasonable. And since 5 is only one significant digit, so one significant digit, my answer should only be one significant digit. And that works out pretty well. So 5 miles is about 8 kilometers. Now, if I'm multiplying or dividing in the unit case, I can do all that as well. So let's convert 75 miles per hour into meters per second. So I have 75 miles per one hour. That's what 75 miles per hour means. And so I'm going to start off by getting down to the units of meters. 
So one mile is 5,280 feet. One foot is 12 inches. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And 100 centimeters is one meter. So there are all of my one values in converting from miles to meters. So you'll see here, as I look at the units, the miles cancel, the feet cancel, the inches cancel, the centimeters cancel. I'm left with meters. But I still have hours in there, and I want that to be seconds. Well, I know that one hour, and now notice I want this in the numerator so that my hours cancel, is 3,600 seconds. So this is also 1, and I am seeing that my units of hours have canceled. Seconds is still there. So in the end, I still have meters per second. And now I take 75 times 5,280 over 1 times 12 over 1 times 2.54 over 1 times 1 over 100 times 1 over 3,600. And if I work all of that arithmetic out, so 75 times 5,280 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100 divided by 3,600. And I get 33.528. meters per second. 75 is two significant digits, so this rounds off to 34 meters per second. And so 75 miles per hour is roughly 34 meters per second.